Hello friends, it is Alina back for another video. And for those of you who are new here, I'm a holistic nutritionist who helps people find balance one video at a time. And in this video, I am going to be sharing with you as a fellow plant mama, how to propagate or divide up your larger plants, specifically pothos I have, and a wandering Jew into smaller containers because I personally am going to be hanging them on macrame in my window, but that way you can have multiple plants. So let's get started. All right, my friends, as you can see, I have braided my hair. One of the many things I have done as a response to being socially isolated for over a month now. But um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so if you guys like this and maybe want a tutorial or something like that, just leave a comment down below. But today, we are going to be dividing up my big plants. Actually, let me get my other one really quick. Okay, so I have had these two plants for almost a year now because I got them both at uh, Wellness Con, which is a two day outdoor conference in Los Angeles that I organized and I created. Um, but we had a pop-up shop with a local plant nursery, which was incredible and beautiful. And I got to get these. But as you can see, as beautiful as this Wandering Jew plant is, you can see in the back here, there's a lot of dead leaves. There's a lot of like shedding. And it's very clear that this plant has overgrown its pot. I just feel like I personally have overgrown a lot of things in my life. And sometimes when we grow, we have growing pains and it is a sign for us to move on and move into beautiful new homes and new places in our lives. So I'm gonna do that with my plants. So I got these containers from Ikea. I have, let's see, I have four gold containers and then four white containers. And I also, made a macrame hanger for just one. I only made one and I'm actually planning to do a full video tutorial on how to make these because they were so easy. These were so easy to make. Um, it's kind of overexposed. So let me try and show you. Like this was so easy to make. It's literally a collection of different knots and you do it in a strategic way to make it look like this. Um, mine's kind of sideways because I did it weird. But anyway, so in this video, I'm specifically gonna focus on dividing the plants and teaching you how to propagate in general. And then if you want to comment down below if you want another video on how to make super simple uh, macrame hangers like these. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hi, you can't really see me, but I wanna show you what I'm doing. Don't mind my dirty ass nails. <laughs> I'm gonna redo them when I'm done. I'm also sitting on a trash bag right now, which is something that you should definitely do if you have carpet like me. Um, but all you have to do is what you're gonna do is you are going to put the pot upside down and you're just going to lightly squeeze it. Oh, and this one popped out really well. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of roots coming out around it. Now I am not a professional in this whatsoever, so definitely don't take everything that I'm doing word for word. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half and see how it looks in half. So if it looks even more full, then I'll do it in fourths. That way I have four plants instead of just two. So I cut it out, cut through, and now we're just going to whoop, separate them. So I now have four different plants that I'm gonna be putting in the pots. Now this is the potting soil that I'm using. I wanted to get maybe uh, an organic soil or something else, but Things were pretty limited because of the social distancing and the self-quarantine ordinance. Like we tried to go to Home Depot. There was a line almost around the corner and it was in the middle of a weekday. So there's a lot of building. There's a lot of stuff that really is essential that people need from Home Depot. So we didn't want to get into that mix. And so we went to a smaller hardware store and they had this. So I think that this will be perfectly fine. I'm going to give it a light watering once I put it in. So let's check this out. And what you can do is you can put like a, a one paper towel at the bottom to prevent soil from getting out from like the little drainage at the bottom. So I have my soil at the base and then I'm gonna take my divided plant and I'm gonna put it right inside just like so like that. <laughs> Who's addicted to TikTok by the way? Cause I am. And then you're just gonna slowly fill in the rest with your soil. And as you can see, 
Miss Coco in the back. Say hi, Coco. Say hi. She's checking everything out. And voila, we have our first plant and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the macrame um, hanger and then I'll come right back. Hey, go baby. She's just sitting here watching me like struggle with all of this mess. <laughs> I also just want to show you how many vines just popped off, but these can all be put in water with a little bit of fertilizer or without, and they will grow roots, and then you can put them in here Friends, once they're ready. it is the next morning. I definitely wanted to break this up because it's kind of a lot of work, <laughs> um, and I had a lot of other things going on yesterday, but I wanted to show you my cute kitty cats and how pretty the window is. They like to hide behind the window and look outside. And look at my pretty hanging plant there. It looks so nice with the window. So I'm very happy with it. And check it out. I worked on these yesterday and they look kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure it's because, you know, they're separated from their siblings. And, and today we are working on this beautiful gal. All right, so let's get started. So I got my baby. I've had this girl for a year. Look at this huge plant. So let's see what she looks like. So this is a, a, a version of a pothos plant, but there's little, you know, spots of discoloration. So it's easy to think that it's a different plant, but it's very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her upside down. And ooh, and look, oh my gosh. This is almost kind of gross to me because it looks like worms, but you see all of this outer roots, like she is so ready to be in a new bigger pot. What you do, um, so you can like gently pull these out if you want but these are very firm, which is really interesting. I don't want to break these top roots, just the deeper ones. All right, update. This felt like a very dramatic experience. Don't mind my cats in the background. And the root system was so robust, I feel horrible <laughs> about tearing it apart almost. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop these and then I'm gonna show you how I propagate the, the ones that have fallen off and the fertilizer that I use to kind of like kickstart the growth, especially because it's a springtime right now, I don't mind adding a little bit of fertilizer. So I'll show you that in a second. What are you doing? <laughs> you wanna play with that? You wanna play with that? Let's see. Let's see. Excuse me. I'm gonna roll it away. Here it goes. I wanna show you the mess. The mess that I just made. Chris is about to see the mess that I just made. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, I separated the plants. And they actually look really beautiful. These guys look incredible. Look, yeah. Check this out. And I'm going to hang them just like that one. But check this out. They're really pretty. These came out way better than those guys over there. But they're going to be feeling better soon. And I'm going to be doing basic macrame for all of them. And maybe in the future I'll get more elaborate. But in my next video I'm going to be showing you how to create the macrame um, hangers. Because they're really simple. And I'll show you where I got the macrame also because if you go to Michael's, they will give you a fraction of what I got for way more than what I got. And I have yards of the macrame. So anyway, I just wanted to show you just like the pure chaos that I just came out of. <laughs> but next we're going to go ahead and propagate these bad boys. All right guys, so now we are gonna move on to the water propagation. So maybe you have a bunch of cuttings something like this. These are a bunch of just individual cuttings. Or maybe you have a plant and you just really wanna put it in water to create more smaller plants. Basically, I wanna show you two different ones that I've already had propagating. This was the cuttings from uh, two other plants that I had. And as you can see in here, if it will focus, these are all the roots that are already growing. Excuse my horrible nails that have dirt on them and that are chipped. When you leave them in the water for a while, eventually the plants will grow roots. And so this is what they look like. And then this is a larger version of this. This one I got from my mom and I think they already started out relatively large. This is what they will look like 
and this is basically the goal of what I'm doing right now. So what you'll do is you'll get one of your clippings like this and you're going to get some scissors. If you want to have a good amount of stem in the water, that way enough roots grow from it. That way when you put it in the soil, all of those different roots all have multiple opportunities to basically take more root into the soil and become more established once you move them into the soil with the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off. You can see here, there's like a bit that kind of like died out. So all I'm gonna do is just cut that part, boop. And you wanna cut it right below where a ridge, it's hard to explain, but let me see, will you focus? You see how there's like a little ridge right here? You wanna normally cut right before where a leaf will grow from. So that's all you do. You cut it off and then you put it in water. So I'm gonna put this one in a little cup of water, boop, just like that. All right guys, so this is my newly propagated friend. I cut the edges off of them and I put them all in here and hopefully they will root. I also, the last thing that I wanted to share with you is the fertilizer that I use. So I don't use this very often. I try to only use it once every few months. I try to do it seasonally really. Like as you can see, I haven't, I've barely used hardly any of it and I've had this for probably over six months, but it's called Flora Grow 216. And I like to use this, especially when I just have new clippings and I want to kind of stimulate the root, the root growth. Or right now, now that I've just potted these new plants and I kind of want to like stimulate them taking root into the soil, that way they're kind of established, especially right now it's the spring. Um, you want to try and do this during the time when they are naturally supposed to be growing a little bit faster or blooming. And I've used this in all of my plants and it usually takes around maybe two weeks for something like what I just did to propagate and start to have new roots. But right when I see the new roots, that's when I'm gonna put them in the soil because you don't want them to get too used to constantly being immersed in water because then when you put them in the soil, it's not going to feel natural to them and they might die. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like videos like these, please be sure to comment below. I decided to record this because my last video that I made around a year ago called How to Be a Plant Mama, I got really good feedback from that and hearing your comments wanting more videos is what made me do this one. So I hope you guys like it and be sure to subscribe and like and comment and let me know what videos you wanna see next. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.